Morning everyone. Special time here on the farm and it's all because of Miss Olive. Olive just turned one year old guys <laughs> and I missed it. <laughs> the honest truth is that since the beginning of January our channel has been experiencing exponential growth super fast and I mean I got all caught up in answering comments and things like that and that takes hours out of a day and I mean I just didn't get a chance to get out and film let's have a little bit of fun reminiscing about Olive's life on the farm so far Sit, you stay. Miss Olive came to the farm in the spring of last year basically rehomed by a kind viewer to our channel she came to us as a very young pup, very cute, and we welcomed her into our lives with open arms and hearts. Can you imagine that this very kind animal loving woman drove seven, eight hours to get to our farm just to drop off this beautiful pup because she wants to give this pup the best possible life on our farm and she's sure that this is the place where this olive is gonna have an amazing life. Now our Molly instantly took this pup under her wing and basically became a motherly type figure or a big sister type figure. Someone that Olive can look up to, show her the ropes around the farm and just have an easier time getting herself adjusted to her new home. Molly toured her around the farm she kept a close watch over her to make sure she didn't wander too far. She showed her things like where all the animal houses were and where the water buckets were and how to chew sticks and how to find shade to stay out of the sun, things like this. They'll basically be best friends forever. Let's find some more. Ooh, here it is. Look at them all. Look at them all. Look at all the eggs! I started training Olive to be around the small animals of the farm from a very young age and that's just to get her comfortable with her surroundings. This kind of training takes several months and requires a good amount of discipline and patience from the dog. Olive is an old English sheepdog and it's not a very Olive, common yes, breed no. but I've learned in the past few years with Molly that this breed is absolutely incredible. It would make a great family dog, great farm dog. And as a matter of fact, in Olive's case, maybe it's just her pedigree, maybe her, her genetics, her background, but I can tell you that based on Olive's behavior, trying to film. She has a natural instinct to chase, eh? Cause she's a herding dog so you got to break that and i don't want her chasing our chickens i have control so that she can't kill a chicken you don't want to ever get to the point that she's actually killed the chicken because then they might get a taste for it see she just got pecked by big red and she had no reaction that's a good sign Based on Olive's behavior, I can tell that she would make a great livestock guardian dog. Now, Olive lives in the house. She's just a companion dog. She doesn't live outside 24 seven, but she has a lot of the characteristics that would require her to be a livestock guardian dog. Like the fact that she has double coat of hair, so weather's not a problem. She's very attentive and protective. She barks at any little sound possible and she don't take no guff from no one. So I'm sure if from a young pup, she was to live with the animals, let's say the ducks, for example, if she was to grow up with the ducks, I'm sure she would be their flock protector. Hey guys, how are you? How are you guys? Chunky, mango. Fuzzy, hey buddy, hey Dexter, 
healthy chunk. We also have the Claw Crew Barn Cat team here at the farm. And it took a little bit of effort to get them somewhat comfortable with Olive because of Olive's hurting nature. She likes to chase things. Getting her used to the cats is a different story though. The cats have a very protective instinct, especially Maggie with her kittens. But I still tried to expose her to the kittens and expose her to Maggie and was hoping that they would become best friends. And guess what? After several months, <laughs> I don't think they're best friends, but they definitely tolerate each other. And as long as the cat is the one approaching Olive, it's fine. But if Olive chases, the cats just run away. Maggie, that's the dog's urine. Why are you rolling around in the dog's pee? You're getting your hair all covered in dog pee. You like the dog pee? You're crazy. Molly, that's your pee, isn't it? Because cats like to roll around in nastiness too. Since the day that we brought Billy the mini pig home as a little piglet, she has developed a very sweet kind of bond with Olive. And Olive, I'm just taken aback by what kind of relationship they've developed. I've never even expected this to happen. And it's almost as if Olive has some motherly big sister type instincts with Billy the pig, the same way Molly had with her when she first got to the farm. And it's so awesome to watch. Even as the two of them were getting older together, Billy was so small and she obviously grew to a bigger size much faster and Olive is still very good with her. She still just lie there and lets Billy jump on her and cuddle in her hair and play and have fun. And it's just, I don't know. I don't even know what to say anymore. I've never seen this kind of a relationship in my life. It's awesome. Want to go see Billy? Let's go see Billy. <laughs> Olive, let's go. How are you? You want to say hi to YouTube? Dexter, you want to say hi to YouTube, buddy? Uh -oh. 
You a good girl? Olive, you a good girl? How about you, Molly? You a good girl too? Yeah, you are, right? As these dogs accompany me pretty well every day while I'm doing the animal chores around the farm, I always let them see and visit with the animals. I don't do it every day, but a lot of days, just so that they always remember their relationship. Olive especially, because she's still very young. She's only just turned a year. So I'll bring her in to see the chickens, and I'll bring her in to see the rabbits, and it's all in trying to continually train her and you know, make her understand that she's friends and not to chase the animals. I really don't have to worry about that with Molly anymore. Molly is going to be turning three years old this year and she's very mature and she's just absolutely incredible. How are you three boys doing? No fights? Watch it, here comes the other guy. Uh oh, uh oh. The bunnies? Overall, Olive is doing a phenomenal nice. job with all the small animals. Nice, she's okay. never hurt any of them. She's never attacked any of them. And considering she's very high energy, very high strung, she's doing incredibly well and I'm very proud of her. Still finding it a whole lot easier to not put any bedding in here. For anybody that's concerned that I'm not putting any bedding in here, I can assure you that the rabbits don't mind at all because they spend most of their time outside anyway. But so far so good with this system of no bedding in here. I come in every couple days and sweep it all up. And I mean, it's a lot easier to sweep it up without the straw. And you don't want to just put extra straw in your compost pile because straw takes forever to compost. So if this is a better way, then we'll see. But I'm not yet finished judging my little test here. Maggie, I see you hiding from the snow. You're not gonna say hi to Olive? Ah, uh, you're not gonna say hi to Olive? Okay, Molly. You didn't see this one, did you? You passed it. <laughs> Molly, are you protecting me? Let's go. Another day, another duck egg. <laughs> 10 hens, a bunch of younger hens, and we're only getting one egg. <laughs> so that's the update on the duck eggs. Chickens seem to be winning the battle of the egg because we're getting a lot more chicken eggs than we are duck eggs. Let's just update some of the straw. I feel blessed to have been given a chance to know Olive and raise her as our own. And she's really just part of the family. There's no question about it. Olive is an amazing dog. I'm so proud to be a promoter of the Old English Sheepdog breed. And Olive fits the bill perfectly. She was a great addition to the farm. She is a great companion to Molly and my darling and I, 
and she's a perfect fit for our farm. And if you'd be so kind to watch the next video, I'll put it down below. And this is basically me telling the entire full story of how Olive, the old English sheepdog puppy, came to find a new home on our farm. Thanks so much.